In this video, I'm going to go over uh, question four from midterm two, Math 256, and this is from uh, March 2015. So question four asked you to interpret this, well, two tank problem in disguise. Um, it's uh, and ask that we asked for you to write down a system of differential equations and give the initial conditions describing this bizarre blood transfusion experiment carried out by two students, two virtual students in this class. So um, let's just get the crucial pieces of information. The two individuals involved were hooked up by tubes pumping blood at five liters per hour from one to the other through one tube and at the same rate going back from the second student to the first. And Sam had 400 milligrams of a band steroid in his system, but Omar had none. Uh, and they both have a total of five liters in their systems. And the goal was to reduce the amount of steroid in his system to one over E squared of the original value. So writing down a differential equation for the amount of steroid in Sam's bloodstream, we get the equation A prime equal, and now he's losing five liters per hour, and he the concentration that he's losing is however much is in his bloodstream divided by five, but then he's gaining five liters per hour multiplied by the concentration of the incoming, which is however much Omer has at that time, divided by the total blood in Omer's system, which is five to get a concentration. So here we get a minus A plus B for the first equation, and the B equation, we get the exact opposite term, so we'll have an A minus B. Whatever is going into Omer or out of Omer is coming into or out of Sam. So uh, written as a system of equations, this would look like AB as a vector prime is equal to minus one, one for the minus one in front of the A and the plus one in front of the B, and then a one minus one for the one in front of the A minus one in front of the B multiplied by AB. Now a number of students added an extra vector here which accounted for the initial condition. That is incorrect. The initial condition is always stated separately and is not part of the equation. And it says that A of zero is equal to 400 in this case, and b of 0 is equal to 0. If you were to add an extra term here with numbers in the parentheses, these would have to correspond to inflow, constant inflow throughout the entire process, um, and those would be inflow not dependent on either a or b, meaning it would have to be um, something coming in from outside independent of both of their current concentrations, and that is not present in this problem. Okay, so that's part A, and for this you would get a point for the correct uh, matrix here without the extra piece, and a point for the correct initial condition. So that is part A. For part B, you were then asked to solve this initial value problem, so I'll just do this in shorthand. You should find the eigenvalues to be lambda equals 0 and minus 2, and the eigenvector associated with lambda equals 0 is v equal 1, 1, and the eigenvalue minus 2 has eigenvector 1 minus 1. So the general solution will be a, b, equal c1 e to the 0 t times 1 1 plus c2 e to the minus 2 t 1 minus 1. Because e to the 0 is just 1, we can rewrite that sim more simply as c1 times e uh, times 1 1 plus c2 e to the minus 2 t 1 minus 1. Okay, and I trust that you can calculate those eigenvalues and eigenvectors on your own. Now to solve the initial value problem, we need to satisfy that A of 0, which in this case will be C1 
plus C2, and that has to come out to 400, and B of 0 will be C1, and in this case, when you plug in t equals 0 here, you get C2 with a minus sign in front, so C1 minus C2 has to be equal to 200. You can either solve this carefully, or you can just see that, oops, no, sorry, C1 minus C2 has to be 0. And so you can see that these are the same, and then that means that these are the same. If C1 plus itself has to be 400, then clearly C1 and C2 are both going to have to be 200. So the solution for this particular initial value problem will be 200, and I'll factor it out, multiplied by the vector 1, 1 plus e to the minus 2t times the vector 1 minus 1. So as far as points, we said I said before that there'd be one point for the matrix equation and another point for the initial condition. There'll be another point for getting the eigenvalues correct and another point for each of the eigenvectors. And then another two points for getting the form of the general solution correct. And finally, another point for getting the initial conditions matched correctly. So the next part, part C, you were asked how long does it take for the system to get within 1 over e squared of the steady state value. This should have said within 1 over e squared in a relative sense, but I counted it correct whether you did it in an absolute or relative sense. And what this means is that if you look at either of the a of t or b of t equation, the story is the same, this becomes 200, 1 plus e to the minus 2t. So in a relative sense, you want to get from 400, and you're getting closer to 200 as this decays away. When will you have decayed away all but e, 1 over e squared? Precisely when t equal 1. And so that means that you're at a of 1, you'll be at 200 plus 200 over e squared. So you'll have drop down from 200 plus 200 down to 200 over e squared above the steady state. So if you did this assuming that you wanted to get within 1 over e squared instead of within 200 over e squared, the answer would be t equal, uh, let's see, 1 plus 1 half natural log of 200. And even though this was not the intended answer, we were giving full marks for that one value. So t equal 1 would get full points there. And then the statement in part d we asked, I asked you uh, if Sam's plan works and the fact is no it does not work and that's because the steady state is at 200 for both of them. Uh, so he'll never drop below that. And he's looking to drop well below that. He's looking to drop down to 200 over e squared. Sorry, 400 over e squared was his plan. So he will never get down to his goal. And that was one point for a statement, and their statement there should say something about the fact that the steady state is 200, meaning that he will never get close to zero as he wanted to.